so you want to build muscle well tune in because i'm about to go through the five muscle building mistakes that so many women make and you can stop yourself from having these mistakes but before we jump in to today's video i wanted to introduce myself for any newbies out there my name is katie also known as cute katie bug on instagram i am a health fitness nutrition and mindset coach my brand is called Choreo Fit. I would love to have you check it out. All the info will be below. I also run a women's activewear line called Choreo Active. Yes, I'm wearing the pieces right now. This is the Serenity collection that I'm wearing. But I do make YouTube videos on here to teach you guys about how to live a healthy and happy fit lifestyle that you love. If you find anything in the video today of any help, I encourage you to hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like. I'd love to have you stick around on my channel. Without further ado, let me jump into today's video, the top five muscle building mistakes that most women I've seen tend to make. So you may be like halfway through your muscle building journey and you're plateauing and you don't know what's wrong and you saw this video and you're like, I'm gonna check that out because maybe I'm doing one of those five things. Well, let's go through them. Number one is you're not incorporating enough compound movements. That could be a big mistake that you're making in muscle building. If you're trying to build your glutes and all you're doing is donkey kickbacks, you will see insane benefits when you incorporate these heavy compound lifts. Heavy compound moves are gonna improve your strength. It's gonna force your muscle to grow. It's gonna incorporate your entire body. And you don't realize this, but heavy compound lifts like the squat, bench, and dead, deadlift, dead, I almost said dead press. Squat, bench, and deadlift. <laughs> Um, they actually burn so many calories throughout the day. So you're gonna have a higher calorie burn in your total workout if you incorporate these lifts. I have three holy grail exercises that I want you to incorporate in your muscle building journey. Number one, squats. And if you're afraid of squats, I want you to try and work on them, maybe hire a coach in your local area, hire a trainer, somebody to help you get into a squat position because a lot of times people have mobility issues that prevent them from doing safe squats. So if you're new to squatting and you feel like it just doesn't feel right, I would definitely recommend getting checked out, but it's not an exercise that you wanna miss out on because squats, I, I think, are the number one benefit, benefit, number one beneficial, exercise to the body in general. Same goes for deadlifts and bench. If you don't know how to do them, ask your trainer, local trainer in the gym, or just somebody in the gym. Usually people are very nice in gyms. Don't be shy and ask. It's definitely exercises that you don't wanna miss out on. When we're building muscle, when we're working out in general, I want you to think of the muscle group that you're training visually, like visually imagine what it looks like. If you're doing glutes, like imagine the glute, you wanna fully exhaust every part of that muscle, all the muscles in the glute area. So if you're doing legs, like you wanna do like all your quads, your hamstrings, your calves, your glutes, like you wanna make sure everything is exhausted. Your heavy compound lifts are more of like your strength. These are gonna be your powerhouse moves. So they're gonna help you build strength, they're gonna help you build the most muscle. So I usually put these in the beginning of my workouts. So I usually start my workout after I warm up and do mobility with my heavy compound lift. After you do heavy compound lifts, then move to your accessories like donkey kicks or like lunges, step ups, something with dumbbells that are not with a barbell, but with dumbbells, those are like a little bit easier. Those are accessory moves. Those, if you do them, there's so many ways to train. If you do them fast, you can help your cardiovascular health. You can help even lose fat. And then follow it up at the end with your isolated movements. Isolated would be like machines. So like the quad extension. The quad extension, when I do my quad extensions, that is my time to fully exhaust my quads after my whole workout of like heavy compound lifts and accessory moves. Maybe I did a few circuits. Then I jump on the isolated quad extension and I fully exhaust them until they're burning. Like you want your muscle to be completely exhausted when you're done. So that's the progression that I usually do. Heavy compound lifts, then accessory, and then isolated. The exercises that will take the most energy first, and then tape right off as you go, so that by the end of your workout, you are completely wiped in that muscle group area. So if you're just doing donkey kicks and not doing squats or any heavy compound lifts, I encourage you, please do them. Those will make the biggest changes in your physique, I swear to you. Number two mistake that a lot of women make is that they're not doing a progressive overload type of program. There's a huge benefit to doing a program because if you've just been kind of going to the gym, 
doing what you know how to do and leaving and not really getting results, it's because you're not progressively overloading your muscles, your body. What does that mean? That means you're adding every week, whether it be sets or reps or weight, increasing your weight each week, that's my favorite one. But you want a progressive overload when you work out because your body will adapt to whatever you put through it. That's the overlying thing you need to remember through your entire fitness journey and that also applies to nutrition as well. Your body will adapt to what you give and what you make it do. If you're doing the same exercises over and over and over and over and over, your body's not really gonna change. It's already adapted to doing those things. So you gotta change it up and like progressively overload those muscles, whether it be adding more sets, adding more reps, and especially increasing your weight that you're lifting, becoming stronger and my dogs just love to interrupt my YouTube video. Hey! So number two would be you're not lifting heavy enough. Make sure you are pushing, pushing your strength every week in the gym. If you're trying to build muscle, you gotta fight your body. You gotta push it to do things that it's not done before. Your muscle is already this big and it already knows how to lift X amount of weight. You gotta lift more than that so that it can grow to be able to lift that much weight. You gotta keep pushing yourself, obviously keeping good form always. Most of the time you're stronger than you think. So what I recommend if you're gonna do progressive overload with adding weights, increase your weight just by like 2.5 to five pounds every week. If you can. It could be really helpful to track your weight progression in the gym as you train and also super helpful if you actually have a program that puts you through a progressive overload. Number one, because you don't have to worry about it. You just go in and do the program and you don't have to think about what you're gonna do and how much weight to use and blah, 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 blah. It doesn't have to be my program, but if you are interested, join my Choreo Fit app. It's literally less than $1 a day and you have tons of workouts that you can do, tons of nutrition, and you can even track your progress in the portal itself, which is so cool. Like during your workout, you can record how much weight you did as you go. So that way next week, if you do more, it'll be like, boom, you've just hit a new strength goal or whatever. It's pretty cool. But even if you don't do that, just find a progressive overload type of style of program online. There's tons of them for free as well. And write down your progress as you go. You want to give yourself all the tools that you need to actually make substantial progress so that you're not just spinning your wheels and hoping for the best. I'm going to just pop in my little transformation just so you know why you should listen to me. I started out being kind of your average, like I wasn't overweight, but I wasn't very fit at all. Never touched a weight in my life. I went from that to being a cardio bunny because I didn't know what else to do. Then I did bodybuilding competition, bikini competitions for a long time. Then I transitioned to powerlifting where I trained for strength. So bodybuilding, I trained to be as lean as I possibly could be. And physique was like, you know, symmetry and all that. I've been through a lot of different phases with my body. And so I've learned so much throughout the way that I'm trying to share with you guys. So you don't have to make the mistakes that I did and you can just bypass all the mistakes and go straight to your results that you want. Number three, this is, oh, this, this one, guys, like, oh, this is the one thing that I always see. Oh, I always see this. Number three, you're not eating enough, sis. You're not eating enough. Your muscles need fuel to grow. It needs food. I will say something here. There's two groups of people. Number one, the newbies who have never worked out before. They've never done fitness before at all. We'll talk about them in a second. Number two are the fitness experienced people, but not really getting results. Actually, I guess there's three. Number three would be people who are like extremely overweight or, or obese. That's another category. Newbies, I have good news for you. Newbie gains are coming your way. Newbie gains. Let's talk about newbie gains. Newbies, new beginners in the gym who have never done a, a progressive overload program or who have never really done heavy compound movements or done much at all in the gym, you'll make faster progress than people who are experienced and already been doing it for a while. It might not take you that long once you start incorporating things like heavy compound lifts and eating enough, so that's super exciting. People who are experienced lifters in the gym and who are just kind of not seeing the progress that they want, make sure you're eating enough. Make sure you're eating enough protein. The standard recommendation is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So make sure you're getting that protein in. Make sure you're in a caloric surplus, a little one. If you're trying to build muscle, and this goes for mostly people who are well-trained, people who are newbies, even if you don't eat enough surplus, like I would recommend just 
trying to get your nutrition under control and that's a whole other video, but eating enough protein, just focus on eating more protein for beginners and I promise you, you'll see results. People who are more experienced in the gym, make sure you're eating enough in a little bit of a calor caloric surplus, not too heavy, just a little bit. I would say like 200 calories surplus. So find your maintenance calories and then add a little bit more to that. For the people who are extremely overweight or in the obese category, you're gonna make extreme gains when you start incorporating these heavy compound lifts. A lot of times I feel like these people don't do them because they feel like, oh, I wanna lose a bunch of fat before I start lifting and building muscle. They associate building muscle with gaining weight and that in turn makes them not wanna do it because they're like, oh, I just need to lose fat. Well, I need, I'm here to tell you that the more muscle you have, the more fat you'll burn. It's like kind of like working from the inside out. Those heavy compound lifts, the amount of calories that you'll burn throughout the day is way more than what you'll do on a treadmill for an hour. I would recommend to start doing those lifts now. Like you'll have such faster results. You gotta not be afraid to eat. Like I always tell my ChoreoFit members, I want you to adopt the mindset of you are an athlete, not a dieter. You are an athlete. Like think of your body as an athlete. What would an athlete eat? You gotta fuel yourself. You gotta perform. Make sure you're eating enough. That's so crucial. If you don't eat enough, you're not gonna make extreme muscle gains. Food is not the enemy, it is our friend, okay? Food needs muscle to grow. I cannot stress this enough, especially if you're trying to build. All right guys, that brings me to number four, one of the mistakes that you may be making. You gotta give yourself enough time. If you're somebody who has done heavy compound lifts, who has a ex super experienced lifter, who has done progressive overload and you're still not seeing results, you gotta give yourself time. The times that I've made the most progress in my, my journey, I would build, I would do a building phase for at least a year. And I would just say, okay, this year is my year to commit to building as much muscle as I can and I would just go all in. I'd eat a lot, I'd train super hard and I'd lift really heavy and I just committed to that period of time. So what I would recommend is a lot of times you just start on this journey with kind of no ending in sight and you just kind of like start a program and then you get bored of it and you switch to something else and you're like, ah, oh, I think I wanna lose fat now and, and it's just like you're going with it. I would say plan. Decide from this month to this month is gonna be my building time and I would at least make it two to three, three months minimum. I would say to make significant gains. Even more than that would be amazing. And then you can always do a cutting phase after that, but don't just endlessly work out, like have a plan. Be like, okay, this month to this month, I'm gonna build muscle and go all in and do it right. Knowing that when this month ends, then you can do something else. But don't program hop, get distracted, look for a quick fix, or give yourself not enough time. Like, don't get bored. Just commit to it, you know? Newbie people will experience really fast results as well as people who are extremely overweight. The oldie people who have been in the gym for a while, you gotta give it time. You gotta give it lots of time. I remember training during my building phases. I've probably done like three different building phases for a year each, so like three years of solid building. But I would tell myself like, I will work so hard that my body literally doesn't have a choice but to change. Like I was pushing myself to the limit and it worked. And now I have so much mus muscle maturity that even if I don't work out for a few months, I generally look the same because my muscle's not going anywhere because of how long I did that for and how hard I worked. So even the work that you're doing now, if you really give it your all, it's gonna benefit you in the years to come. It's not just a short-term benefit. Number five, you may be doing the same style of lifting or training indefinitely. Like I said, the body will adapt to whatever we put through it. So if you only do bodybuilding style workouts where it's like four sets of eight reps or, and then of everything and then like that's it, I would recommend switching it up. Like do some EMOM workouts, do some timed circuit workouts or just circuits into your workout after your heavy compound moves. EMOM circuits, uh, volume training where you do like 10 sets of 20 reps, like huge amount of volume. Switch it up. There's so many different styles of training. If you've boxed yourself into one, definitely need to switch it up because your body is used to that and you wanna surprise it. As long as you remain true to the three holy grail exercises, squat, bench, and deadlift, even for us ladies, the bench press is so beneficial for our entire bodies, so I really recommend not being afraid of that. You don't have to go super heavy on bench if you're not trying to, but definitely squat and deadlift, you wanna push it. As long as you have those three holy grail exercises, you definitely, like consistent every time in the beginning of your workout, 
You wanna switch up the rest of your workout to be different so your body doesn't adjust and stay the same. Your body will adapt to what you put through it. So if you wanna build muscle, you need more strength and muscle, you gotta lift things that your body's not used to lifting so that it has to adapt to being able to be strong enough to handle that. You wanna work so hard, your body has no choice but to change. I find myself, and maybe you guys can relate, I've been training for so many years, like 10 years. I find myself becoming bored of my normal training because I've just been doing it for too long. So I try to find different avenues of fitness that I can dip my toe in the water, whether that be like outdoor workouts or like I said, like volume and EMOM and even body weight stuff. Like there's some body weight stuff that is so freaking hard and that will make you so sore, even the, the person with the most muscles because it just hits your body a different way. Your body's not used to it. Definitely want to switch up your workout so long as you remain true to those three heavy compound lifts all the time. And what I mean by all the time is like at least do each one once a week. You don't have to do them every single day, but I at least make sure I have my squat day, my deadlift and my bench day. And then I kind of fill in the rest of the week with the other types of styles of training and workouts. Okay guys, I think that wraps up my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll link a few videos a few videos. I'll link a few videos right here that are similar to this if it piques your interest that I've done in the past. Otherwise, I will see you next time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. I know everybody says this who's on YouTube, but you guys like YouTube's algorithm is changing fast and the best way you can support the people that you love watching on YouTube is actually by commenting and sharing the video. So don't be selfish. Share this video with somebody you think would enjoy it. Um, it. I would really appreciate it. If you don't want to, you don't want to. Whatever. I'm just glad you made it this far. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you next time here on my channel. Guys, I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek at the Serenity Collection from Choreo Active. I'm wearing the Renew shorts in the color Dusk, and I'm wearing the Zen Bra in Cloud. I'm an extra small on bottoms and a small on top. I think you guys will love these pieces.